active listening and active reading. Have you heard of active listening before? The expression active listening is used in three main fields, counseling and training, business, and conflict resolution. In other words, situations where it is extremely important for the listener to fully hear what other speakers are saying. Traditionally, techniques for active listening have been developed for speaking contexts. However, most of them can be applied to our situation. That is, we can use active listening techniques even when we are communicating through written discussion boards. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. This video presents seven techniques of active listening that you can apply in our online discussion boards as well as in other contexts in your life. Number one, use your full attention to read the posts. When reading, make sure you are not distracted. This includes not listening to the radio, not watching television, and not having other conversations. Try to be fully present when you are reading. Clear your mind and try not to think about other things. If you are having a difficult time concentrating, try reading out loud. Number two, reflect before responding. Being an active listener requires self-awareness. Before you respond to what someone has written, reflect. Think about your immediate reactions. What judgments are you making? Are your reactions going to be helpful for the other person you are responding to? Is it something that needs to be said? Will your response bring greater awareness to the person that posted? Before offering feedback, perhaps clarify the post. Number three, make sure you understood what the other person wrote. Sometimes it is necessary to be careful how you express what you want to say. This may be because you are not sure if you have completely understood what the other person is saying or if you are worried that the other person may not be receptive to what you want to say. If it is necessary to clarify what the person has written, try asking questions. For example, are you saying that I'm not certain I understand. Do you mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Sometimes it is also appropriate to restate or summarize what you read in your own words. You can introduce your restating or summary of what the other person wrote with these expressions. Let me see if I'm clear about this. So it sounds to me as if... Let me see if I understand. You... If it seems like an emotional topic, you might want to try. This is what I think I hear you saying. You appear to be feeling... Is there a chance that you, or it seems that you, number four, recognize the emotional side. Sometimes instead of just repeating what the other person said or wrote, it is helpful to recognize the emotional impact of what they are describing. Some phrases that are useful for this are This seems really important to you. 
You appear to be feeling... That sounds really frustrating. Or, that sounds really scary. Number five, offer alternatives. Another way to understand someone is to offer alternatives to what they are saying. For example, is it possible that... I wonder if... Would you agree with this idea? You can use these phrases to check for understanding, take the other person's ideas further, or perhaps to take them in a new direction. When you take their ideas further, you show them implications or meanings, outcomes of what they are saying. These may be implications that they understand but did not say, or they may be implications that they have not thought about yet. When you suggest taking the other person's ideas in a new direction, you offer an interpretation that is different from theirs. Number six, share your point of view, knowledge, or experience. You can share information, observations, insights, and experiences. For example, I have also experienced this when your post reminded me of I noticed that number seven request more information often when we ask for more information we can get deeper and more meaningful information and this can make the discussion more meaningful or you may just be curious about their experience and want to know more in either case some useful expressions to ask for more information are can you tell me more about your experience I'm curious about your post. Can you tell me more about what do you think would happen if you... No matter what technique you use to respond, always remember to be respectful of the other person and be open and honest. These are the references that we use to make this script. And if you're interested in learning more about active listening, we suggest you view these videos.